freedom to choose the jobs you want when you want. This video is sponsored by Avail Logistics. With the driver demand at an all time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you very much for watching, I do appreciate it. Actually, let's turn, let's turn the light on. We are currently in Chip and Camden, waiting to be tipped. Uh, I think actually someone's about to come over now and grab the paperwork, potentially. Um, but yeah, hope everyone's okay. Today is Friday, last working day of the week. You all right, mate? How's it going? All the stuff you love. <laughs> All right, mate. I tell you what, one of the things I, um, I fear, I think, one of the things I fear the most, and I have done it in the past, is turning up to the wrong branch. Um, it's something I have actually done in the past. I'm going to turn my engine off now. I literally just reversed it there. And sometimes I give... I give forklifts my, um, the forklifters my paperwork and they look at it and they stare at it and I'm like, am I in the right place? I'm definitely in the right place, aren't I? But yeah, there's, I don't know any other pavestone branches. Um, but yeah, we are in the right place. So we're going to get this off. We're fully loaded with a pavestone. Um, it was in my last video. Um, this is a separate video. Today we have planned a collection from BMI Redlands in Bedworth. Uh, and I believe it's a stock transfer. I don't actually know. I know where I'm going. I'm going to Leighton Buzzard and I'm going to Westerham. Now, uh, BMI Redlands have both places in Leighton Buzzard and Westerham. So I'm assuming it's going to be a stock transfer, um, which I've, I've done loads of stock transfers. But I've never done two, two drops. So that's new. Um, I would imagine that if I was delivering to Leighton Buzzard and Westerham then it would come from those branches respectively. Do you know what I mean? I would assume. But you never it's never safe to assume in the uh, in the haulage industry. But uh, yeah, from here we are going to, to Bedworth. It's about an hour or so away. And then get loaded, strap it all up, um, corner board it all up, go to Leighton Buzzard, which is probably an hour down, and then um, Westerham, which is probably a couple of hours away from there. And then who knows what we're doing from there. But I imagine that's going to take most of the day. So there's three different places we're going to go to from here. So... It's good to know what we're doing for the rest of the day. Um, we'll just find out what we're doing after that. But yes, um, I'm going to get this off and then uh, crack on to the next place. I'll see you in a bit. Oh, we're done. We're done, we're done, we're done. I need paperwork, don't I? So he's going to bring it over to me now. So it was the last one. I thought it was. Oh, I might need to get some fuel today at some point as well. Just under half a tank. Might be all right. Thank you very much. You, Cheers, mate. See you again. No worries. Have a good day. All right, paperwork is done. Uh, 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 uh. Right, that's the paperwork been put away. Let's uh, pop that over there. Then go down there. Lovely jubbly, lovely jubbly, lovely jubbly, lovely jubbly. Let's go out this way. Right, lift axle up. Let's get on out of here. Lovely. Yeah, so we are going to uh, continue on to our next drop now. I say drop, I mean collection. It's a very bumpy road, this is. Nearly knocked me out coming in here. Yeah, we're going to head on to our um, collection point in Bedworth. I will see you when we get a little bit closer. It'll also be a lot lighter out as well. And uh, yeah, 
see you in a bit. Right, so we're just coming off the M6 now to go to Bedworth. Yep, you put in, mate. That's fine. I have a cheeky little break as well in front of me. <laughs> um, we hopefully are going to be able to go straight in. Fingers crossed. I've only been to this place once or twice, I think. And uh, it's actually one of the better ones in the sense that you just get out, um, you, sorry, you just drive straight in and you just stay in your truck. They come over to you, you give them your reference, they load you, and then you go forward and then you strap up. Whereas some places you've got to go in, park up, then walk back and book in, then walk back to your truck again and do it all and strap, then go back and weigh off and then strap. And yeah, it's um, this particular branch is really easy. Easy, easy, easy. But yeah, um, like I said earlier, I'm, I'm going to guess that it's a stock transfer to um, two, branch, two of their own branches, one in Lake Buzzard and one in Westerham. That's what I'm going to assume. But I have never done two before, so it could be different. We will find out. We will find out. Um, but yeah, Lake and Buzzard will go on the back and Westerham on the front. So we need to remember that. Westerham on the front, Leighton Buzzard on the back, because we want to deliver to Leighton Buzzard first. <coughs> okay, we've got to make a right-hand turn up here. I believe it, it gets quite busy down here, I think. Um, with, like other trucks parking up for the night as well. It really can get quite busy, from what I can remember. All clear. go all the way down here. I swear I've seen trucks parked up overnight down here. I swear I have. Yeah, there's no, uh, there's no double lines here. Well, that's a bus stop there. There's no double lines there, there. I guess when these cars go, people can park up there as well. So yeah, definitely um, people park up overnight down here. 100%. I'll let that car come through. Come on. You're welcome. Didn't say thank you. Is that lorry waiting to get through? No, I don't think so. There's a car just overtook it, so. Yeah, the lorry's parked up. Lots of learners down here. One, two, three, right in front of us. Thank you. Go around here. Lovely, lovely. Down here. You can't miss this place. It's like, I don't know whether it's their headquarters or not. I don't know. It's, um, I well, just can't miss it, it's a big old entrance. Quite clear that they're there, do you know what I mean? Like all these, it's all very compact and... You'll see in a sec. <laughs> Anything coming? No, all clear. Nicola's scissors, Nicola's sizzles. Okay, turn right in here. Yeah, look, it's got his own, their own sort of driveway and everything. That must have been back in the day. It must have been something really important for the area. Maybe. Anyway, beacons on. We're going to drive all the way round. Hopefully. Hopefully, fingers crossed, it's going to be nice and quiet. Collections, keep left. I don't see anybody yet. Looks like, to me, we're going to be the only one here. Straight in. Yeah, there's nobody here, so, wow, well, there was one truck over there, actually. But I don't think they're loading. New. So yeah, you just literally just put up to this barrier, a forklift driver will come over to you, then you pull forward and they load us right in front. 
and we stop up down there as well. We just sit tight here for a little bit. Yes. Right, so let's get loaded. I'll see you when we are loaded and um, then we can crack on. See you in a bit. Right, we are loaded now. Just checking the straps. Strapped it all up. I'm just checking it all out now to make sure it's all good. A couple of the pallets are a bit weird. Let me show you. Like this one, you got stuff that on that side, stuff on that side of the pallet. I've got to put this on so I don't actually break anything because the strap will break it. But should be alright. And then we've got these ones. So yeah, we've got two deliveries. I'm not actually sure where they're going yet. Uh, those one, two, three, four, and that one five is for the first drop, and then uh, the rest of it, which is 13 pallets, I believe, is for the second drop. I said I haven't actually looked to see where I'm going yet. Got the paper up in front of me now. Yeah, so the Leighton Buzzard one is going to BMI. So that was as I sort of thought. Leighton Buzzard is definitely BMI, yeah. And Westerham is also BMI. So yes, we are doing stock transfers as I thought. Been to both these sites before, so we can crack on and get on uh, over there. Let's go to Leighton Buzzard, see you when we get there. Right, we are in Leighton Buzzard. This junction could be a bit of a nightmare, especially coming out on the other side, like um, where we come out. <laughs> and if you want to turn right and you've got to cross the traffic, can be a bit of a nightmare. I'm gonna let that truck go. Oh, you're not indicating, I thought you were going the other way. Couldn't see an indicator this side, so I thought they were going the other way. And uh, no, they wanted to go left, but it wouldn't indicate. Never mind. But yeah, it can be a bit of a nightmare coming back out, especially if it's busy. But uh, that was relatively quiet today. Right, normally when we come here, I've never actually done a delivery here. It's always collection, so I'm not entirely sure if we go to the same point on site. So I'm contemplating just going straight to the Weybridge, giving them a paperwork and then see what they say. Unless I see a very clear sign that says collection, uh, deliveries. Yeah, deliveries, because that's what I'm doing, delivery. Uh, it's 20 to 12 currently. So hopefully we can get these off and get out of here by 12. That's the aim. Want to get on. We're going to be on the M25, I think, come, come five o'clock in the afternoon. Maybe on the M4, but I can't see us being back in the yard until at least six. And that's on the assumption we go straight back to the yard as well. We might have to go get loaded somewhere else first, yeah. It is, it is entirely a possibility. All clear. Lovely double Entry to Leighton Buzzard restricted one and a half miles ahead. Luckily, we're only going about a mile ahead. Hard up. Right, so uh, we booked in now. Just gonna go back round here. Better turn my lights on. I'll undo the straps and then um, they can tip me. Unfortunately, there's now a truck here waiting to be loaded. So we might have to wait a little bit. But it might not. I can't imagine we're waiting too long. But it uh, gives us time to get the straps off. Let's go and do that. Let's park on up. And I'll uh, see you in a bit. Okay, this is the part of the video where we talk about the Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. I promise you, if you want to know anything regarding HGVs or, or working hours or anything like that, then you need to purchase this book because everything is in it. Uh, and if you are already a HGV driver and you think you already know about all this sort of stuff, buy it anyway because it's going to refine your existing skills. The Essential New Truckers Handbook by Malcolm Green. Link in the description down below. Go buy yourself a copy now. Right, we're tipped. Just about to go on the road, but I thought I'd take my hovers off first. We've got cars coming over way anyway, so we can't even get out if we wanted to. Just wait for this car to go. Oh, just let me go. Thank you. Thank you very much. 
Right, so yeah, we are tipped. Five pallets off, and it is actually bang on to out about. It's 11.59, excuse me. 11.59, so not too bad. Our ETA to Westerham is 10 to two. 10 to two. And I would imagine we get out of there probably more like, because they're normally quite quiet actually every time I go there. So I'm gonna say half past two. That's what I'm gonna say. And I was thinking, where am I gonna get loaded from there? Like, am I gonna go back to the yard? I don't know. I got no idea if I'm going back to the yard empty or whether I got to get loaded somewhere else. And then I remembered H&H &H, <laughs> um, is just around the corner. So we might be loading from H&H &H later. We will see. But uh, might be pushing it for time, to be honest with you. Because um, we need to have a break. Um, we're going to tip at Westerham and then we're going to have a break outside their, uh, their gates because I believe it, I need a 30 minute break. No, I need a 45 minute break actually. Yeah, I need a 45 minute break. So, um, yeah, we're gonna have to have a 45 minute break outside Westerham's gates anyway. So it's gonna put, put us back a little bit as well. And um, basically, if we are loading from H&H, &H, we might not even be able to be loaded because we might not make it there on time to be loaded. We will see, but obviously we'll try, try our best, do what we can do. The problem is, what messed it up, I believe, was yesterday, because um, obviously in the last video I had a blowout, and um, that put me behind by about an hour and a half, maybe two hours. And if that hadn't have happened, I would have got this morning's delivery off yesterday, and then I would have been um, towards where I'm going, where I got loaded this morning in Bedford, I would have been basically loading there first thing this morning rather than at 10 o'clock this morning or 11 o'clock this morning, whatever time it was. Um, no, it was 10 o'clock so, or half past nine, something like that. Either way, I would have been there first thing this morning, like seven o'clock. So I'm still two hours behind basically um, because of yesterday. Anyway, we do indeed need to make a right hand turn out of this, which I was saying earlier could be difficult. It, um, sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's a little bit more difficult. Like, you'd like to think that during rush hour it'd be worse, but actually because vehicles are moving slower, it can be a bit easier. We are clear on the left and we are clear on the right. Good to go. But it's a blind summit, so you've got vehicles coming over quite fast that don't see into the last minute. So like, I come out, I pulled out of that before I saw anybody, but they come round, saw me coming out and they've had to slow down. There are signs that says slow. You should be able to see on these ones. Uh, that's just a turn in. There we go, reduce speed and blind summit. So yeah, there are two signs, blind summit, reduce speed. To uh, to warn you of vehicles that could be coming out up ahead. Never mind. Right, um, yeah, it's a good hour and 45 minutes drive to Westerham now. I'll see you when we get there. It's gonna be about 10 to two. See you in a bit. Right, we are on uh, the last sort of mile and a half now to Westerham get these pallets off and then um, we'll find out what we're doing afterwards. I do suspect it's going to be H&H &H blocks. It's only about half an hour up the road, so I have a feeling it'll be that. We did get a hold up in traffic on the M25 on the way here, so we were we were originally planned to be here for about 10 to 2, uh, but it's uh, it's going to be more like 2 o'clock now, maybe just after, we'll see. By the time we, by the time we get in and get straps off, it, it will definitely be after 2 o'clock. Um, we might still be able to get out by half past two, and then if that is the case, we can get to H&H &H for about three o'clock, quarter past three, something like that. But it is, um, it is pushing it for time, because I'm gonna assume they stop doing deliveries, uh, collections at four o'clock or something. So it only gives us sort of like 30 minutes to 45 minutes leeway. But um, hey, we've crossed that bridge if we need to. What can you do, eh? Let's get this off first, make a call, find out where we're going next. And, uh, and then take it from there. We should, I think if we are loading from h and it should be okay, to be honest with you. I think we will get loaded, but as long as we don't get messed around here. Do you know what, I very, I normally take the left at the end of the road, rather than coming in the lay-by. I'm going to do it via the lay-by this time. Take a look. Of course, you 
can park up here of an, of an evening, should it be required. It's not required today. Yeah, let's go left. I normally come in off the road, but I just fancy going in via the lay-by for a change. Why not? We've got a car coming around. Lovely. Yeah, so let's get these off. Find out what we're doing. I don't, we won't be going Tilbury Docks or anything like that. I doubt it anyway. That'd be, that'd be proper pushing it for time. <laughs> I suspect it'll either be H and H or it'd be sort of head back towards the yard. To be honest, I, and I will be honest, I'd rather just go back to the yard. <laughs> I, um, let's flash, flash him through. I, um, I just want to go home and rest, to be honest with you. Done a night out last night. I had a great night's sleep, but I just wanted more rest. And uh, I'm up for an early night tonight, definitely. That being said, if we do need to go to H&H, &H, then we'll go to H&H. &H. <laughs> we'll get it loaded and then go home. We need to get fuel as well. We are pushing it on the fuel. I think the fuel light's going to come on soon. <laughs> I'm hoping I can fill up on the M4 on the way back. But um, that is at least an hour away. But uh, yeah, we're, we're under a quarter of a tank. So the fuel light will be on soon. Right, so we just wait here. There's a red light up in front. Gotta wait, wait for it to turn green. Oh, it's turned green already, that was quick. I wasn't expecting it to go that quick. But it has. Morning. Just re just realised it's not actually morning. It's uh, afternoon. There's nobody here, so we are going to get straight in and straight out. This is good, yes. This is real good. Right, let's get these straps off. See you in a bit. Right, so just been got a message from the boss. Back to Cerny. So back to the yard, basically. That's where our yard is based. Happy days. I um, I've obviously would have got loaded from H and H if needed, but uh, time is getting on, and uh, it would have almost certainly have meant I wouldn't be home until six or seven tonight. And uh, <coughs> like I said, I just want to. It's been a long week. It's been a long week. Actually, it's been my first week back <coughs> since I was ill last week. No, not last week. The week before that. Or was it last week? I don't know. It's my first week back, I know that, so it must have been last week. <laughs> um, but last week I had one day off. Sorry, I, last week I only done one day at work, which was the Friday. And then, um, and then I was off before that for the whole time. Oh, lift it in gear. I keep doing this. Got to take out a gear quickly before, uh, before I lose air, or it might get stuck in gear. So, neutral, reverse, neutral, it's now out of gear, ignition off. So yeah, I am literally led on my bed while, um, while the port lift driver offloads me. Hard life, hard life. So, from here, bear in mind it's 20 past two in the afternoon, so it's not even late yet. But um, from here, so we are going straight back to the yard which sounds like an early finish, but it's not. Because, um, well, we're not tipped yet, for starters. We'll be tipped soon, so it'll be about half past two, I reckon we'll be done, within the next 10 minutes. I've then got to have a 45 minute break. So you're talking quarter past three before I leave. And then it's a good, um, I think the sat -nav said, sat -nav says two hours and 48 minutes, so nearly three hours, and that's including traffic because the M25 is shagged because it's a Friday. So, quarter past three, quarter past five, quarter past, five, quarter past six, back in the yard. Plus I need to stop and get fuel as well. So it's looking like half past six tonight in the yard. So it's still not an early finish. Um, you know, that's coming on nearly seven o'clock. Look, by the time I get in the yard, take the card out, you know, walk by to the gate, get in my car, 
it, it's going to be nearly seven o'clock tonight, I think. Um, we'll see. I'm going to annoy a lot of people now. Hey Siri, what time is sunset? Sunset will be at 1740 today. Okay, it's going to be dark as well. <laughs> when we're back in the yard later, it's going to be dark. So, um, yeah. Sounds like an early finish, saying back to the yard at 20 past two. But it's not actually an early finish because there's a lot of driving to do. We need a break, we need fuel. What a deal with traffic. It's just uh, a lot of obstacles. <laughs> that may be the last one coming off, potentially. Do I get a beep? No, no beep. Not the last one yet, then. Oh, this is it. We're done, we're tipped. Lovely. All good, do you want me to sign anything? Or? Lovely, thank you very much. Have a good weekend. Right, so we're done. I've got to open my door to put my foot in the in the uh, in the old boot, the Buterino. Lovely, jubbly paperwork can go away. High vis off. Right, let's get out of here so we can have a break. Um. Yeah. Yeah, let's go and have a break. Let's go and have a break. Mid lift axle up. Lights turning green. Thank you very much. Say thank you. We're careful of vehicles coming from the right hand side. Let that uh, lorry go first. Lovely. And we'll uh, we'll just park up down here on the left and have a uh, have a cheeky break. I guess you could park up here for the night. As long as you've got in the main gate, you could just park up, I suppose. Ready for the morning. I don't know. Never tried it. Don't know anyone who has either, so. No idea. Uh, let's park her up, drive, have a rest. Beacons off. Can you wear that? Can you wear the beacons? Look, if I turn my engine off, beacons are off. Beacons are on. Dash cam shut up. So beacons are on. It's like a grinding noise. And then they're off. Anyway, did I put on a break? <laughs> Losing track. Yeah, all right, um, let's have a break. I'll see you in a bit. Right, we are just round the corner from the yard. We're just going to take a right hand turn here. Happy days. We managed to get our break in. We filled up a few little common services. We traversed the M25 and the bit of traffic that was there. There was a vehicle fire. Loads of fire engines and everything. We got caught in a bit of traffic. But Nonetheless, we've done pretty good for time. It is literally just gone six o'clock in the evening. And obviously it is also getting dark, as you can see. Um, but we're not done yet. No, 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 no. We've got to, um, we've got to sort trailers. Um, I got a, an empty flatbed on at the moment. It's what we call the black flatbed. Uh, and I got to hitch up to the red flatbed. Now, <laughs> we're, the yard is so tight and so small that well it's not really small but there's just not a lot of room so and because this trailer is not going to be being used on monday it needs to be parked out the way um that just so happens to be where the red trailer is the red flatbed so what we need to do is we need to drop the black flatbed somewhere anywhere then we need to go to the red flatbed hitch up to the red flatbed move the red flatbed out drop the red flatbed somewhere else um move back over to the black flatbed pick the black flat flatbed back up move it into where the red flatbed was, drop the black flatbed, go back to the red flatbed, hitch the red flatbed back up, and then park up. But we're not done even then, because we still need to hit, um, to strap up the load as well, because it's not strapped up yet. So, um, yeah, we need to do all that. What's the, what is this car doing? Come on. Gonna turn green soon. Um, so yeah, it, it, it is dark, or it will be dark, pitch black sooner or later. 
Um, but I will have company. My wife and my children are coming down to the yard and they are going to help me. They're going to help me strap up. So uh, a little bit of family time down the yard, which is, uh, which is good. What is this car doing? <laughs> the car wants to go in this yard. No, mate. Go away. <laughs> There's my car. Right, I've got to undo the gate. You can just about, maybe just about make out the red flatbed, which is over there in the left-hand corner. Let's go on in. Let's have a look around the back of the yard, see how much room we've got to manoeuvre. But, uh, yeah, so, blood flatbed needs to go there where the red one is. So we could just, uh, just gotta drop this one anywhere really at the moment. And then what I plan on doing is uh, setting up the GoPro outside so you can see a bit of outside footage. Ah, there's loads of room at the moment. Loads of room. But my GoPro is uh, is close to dying, so we've got to be quick. I guess our new driver's nickname's Fluff. <laughs> That's the first I've seen it. Um, yeah, we've got a new driver started for us. His name is Dan. I think he watches the channel. Hello, Dan. Right, we are literally... Yeah, we're literally just going to dump the trailer here. And then, using this GoPro, you can see some stuff that we're going to be doing. Oh, I need my gloves. Right, so I need to, need to hitch this GoPro out to the truck so uh, you can see some stuff. I think that'd do. Yeah, that'd be fine. Right. I'm not sure how much you can see. I think you might see me. Gotta take the legs down. Leave it like that for a sec. Then we've got to take the airlines off back here. But it annoys me because I don't like messy airlines, so I have to uh, untangle them every time. I'm not going to stow them away properly because. I've got to connect them all back up again soon. Right. You good there? I think you're good there. I think you'll be right there. Oh, can't close that though. Okay, that's cool. Kingpin released. Now we'll be able to drive out. Um, oh, I need, I need um, number plate and also my strap winder, but I'll get in a sec. Yeah, I'll get in a sec because I've got to hitch back up to it again in a second, so.
Right, it sits up to this beauty of a trailer. So a colleague Justin lo loaded this the other day, but uh, it's been uh, it's been here for a while by the looks of it. Just got to raise my suspension without my gloves falling out. There we go. Suspension raise. Hopefully we can slide under. Yeah, I think we're on. Bloody hell. Right, we're definitely attached. Jesus, that was a big bang. Normally I'm quite smooth. I wonder if my GoPro's still up. Right, so I'm just lifting the suspension up so it helps me do the legs up. That is the sound of the mid-lift axle going down. Do you know what? I'm actually going to turn on my rear lights as well. There you go. A bit brighter. A bit brighter on the old back. Right, so I've just put in the, uh, the red and the yellow airlines for now. Go away. Now we've got to move this trailer back to where we were, but we will have to reverse it back because we can't spin it around in this little gap. So I do need to turn this light off just so I can see a bit clearer behind. So I can't see anything with your lights on. All I can see is your lights, you're just blinding me. I can't hear you at all. Can I'm moving trailers around, I can't see you. It's dark out. When I can see you, all I can see is your lights and nothing else. So just, okay. if you see me, get out of my way, I was going to hit you. Well, I have just moved out of the way. Okay, but I can't really move anymore, but I'm really like tucked in. Something there. Right, let's reverse this back. Let's get into the stage now where it's quite dark and I'm starting to not be able to see too much, to be honest. Right, so I'm just going to dump this trailer here. Let's get on out. Right, 
doing it. It's a nightmare. Out from this one. And under this one. Got a message from my boss now. Cool. Regarding the paperwork for this load, apparently it's in the forklift truck. He will put it in my truck tomorrow. Suspension. Raise me up. There we go. Good old tug test. We're getting there. We're getting there. Right now we've got to try and uh, try and back this one down the dark gap with next to zero lights which is always fun so again need to turn this light off just so I can see outside Yeah, I can't really see too much at all, to be honest with you. But I can see the side of the fence, and I know I've got to be tight against that, so... As long as we keep tight to the fence, we should be fine. And of course, if we hear a bang, then, uh, then we're not okay. Let's go forward a bit. I think we did just touch the logs then, but they always ask me to go back as far as I can anyway, so... I think that'll do. Gonna have a look. I do. Right, let's unhitch it all. <sighs> yep, I damaged the trailer. I accidentally hit a log and it smashed the window light. Not the window, the, the rear cluster light. Uh. Anyway, the GoPro on the back has died, so. No GoPro on the back. I'm annoyed now that I uh, damaged the other trailer. Meanwhile, my truck now is minging inside because it's full of crap down there. I'm getting in and out. My footwear is now dirty. So uh, I'll be honest, I'm very annoyed. Very annoyed. Right, now we're on that one. Ah, kingpin, clip, legs. Yeah, that's all done. 
Oh. So anyway, it's a pain in the ass doing all that, especially in the dark. I ain't even strapped up yet. To be fair, my boss did say he'd do it for me tomorrow. But I was like, no, I'll do it. Right, I do need to turn the light off. Just because it's so dark outside, I can't see. <laughs> I don't really want to uh, damage another trailer. Now, I need to park us relatively close to these logs facing this truck. Which, of course, you can't see. But give enough room so that I can actually throw straps over. All right, we're getting that. A little bit closer. But leave just enough room for this guy to get out as well. And then... Should be good. That'll do. That'll do, donkey. <sighs> yeah, we've been recording for like 41 minutes, this one clip. Mad how that time has just flown. <sighs> anyway, there's the trailer and the truck. I haven't hitched up, um, sorry, I haven't strapped up. I was going to, but it's too dark. Yeah, it's too dark, so I'm literally just uh, walking back to my car now. I would have ideally have liked to strap up. The state, my wife and the kids, they did come down. I got a little bit stressy. <laughs> and um, so they went again. Ah, oh. oh, finally done. We're outside the gates. Gates are locked up. Um, it, what, what, what a day. What an evening. Like, I can't believe it took... 35, 40 minutes just to do that, like swap all the trailers around. It just went so fast. And I was just annoyed with myself. I couldn't see anything because it was dark. Should, I should have just left it. Should have just left it until it was daylight. So sorry boss if you're if you're watching and sorry for the damage. And uh, sorry to my wife <laughs> who did come out with my kids to help me, but they were waiting for half an hour while I was doing the trailers and then I was getting stressy, so uh, they kind of went home, so I now need to go in and apologise. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, Na naughty, naughty Luke, see. So, anyway, that'd be, uh, that'd be me. There's the old B-slut, the old Type R. Thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe, try not to smash any trailer lights. <laughs> See you in the next one. Bye-bye. Babe? Okay. I will let you go. Stairs? Where are you? Yeah. Sorry for getting stressy. <laughs>